You ask ChatGPT a question, and somehow it spits out this perfect answer that sounds like your smartest friend just casually drops some knowledge on you. Like there's some genius sitting behind the screen, speed reading every ducking book. But actually, this thing learned to predict what word should come next in a sentence by reading billions, and I mean billions, of examples from the internet. And today, I'm gonna break down exactly how this works. Let's go. All right, picture this. You've got that one friend who's literally read everything. Every book, every Reddit thread, every Wikipedia rabbit hole. But instead of just reading it once like a normal person, they memorize every single pattern of how words fit together. So when someone starts typing, I left my notebook on the... Your friend's brain automatically goes... Table. Desk. Never Mars. Or Sydney Sweeney, you know? That's basically ChatGPT. Except it's not a person, but a computer that analyzed more text than humans could read in literally a thousand lifetimes. But here's the thing. ChatGPT doesn't actually get what words mean like you do. When you hear dog, you picture a fluffy good boy who steals your socks. ChatGPT, it just knows dog hangs out with words like bark, treats, and walkies. It's basically playing the world's most intense game of finish the sentence. You say, I'm going to eat, and boom, food. Not my baby girl. <coughs> ChatGPT just got really good at this guessing game by seeing billions of examples. That's it. All right, so how did ChatGPT actually learn all this stuff? This process took forever and required some seriously powerful computers. We're talking like a small country's worth of electricity here. The whole thing is called training, and it's basically like teaching a baby to talk, except this baby can inhale millions of sentences per second without needing a nap. During training, they fed ChatGPT absolutely everything. Books, websites, research papers, probably some sketchy Reddit threads. We're talking 13 trillion tokens for GPT-4. That's so much text that if you tried to read it 24-7, you'd need hundreds of thousands of years. Bruh. No wonder this thing feels like it swallowed the entire internet. But here's the genius part. They didn't show chat GPT complete sentences. Nah, they played the ultimate fill-in-the-blank game. They'd be like, The apple is... And chat GPT had to guess. At first, ChatGPT was absolute trash at this. It would see the grasses and guess angry or Tuesday or even balls. But every time it messed up, the trainers would be like, nah fam, grass is green. And ChatGPT would adjust its strategy just a tiny bit. This happened billions of times until it learned basic patterns like fire equals hot, cats equals fluffy. This first phase is called pre-training. Then came phase two, teaching it to not be a complete psychopath. After all that training, ChatGPT could predict words like crazy, but wasn't good at being helpful or polite. Ask it, what's the weather like? And it might give you the forecast, or start explaining the atmospheric pressure systems affecting cumulus cloud formation. <sighs> Not helpful. So they brought in humans for a personality makeover through reinforcement learning from human feedback. Basically, humans showed ChatGPT how normal people actually talk, then ranked its responses from actually helpful to completely mm. off. ChatGPT learned to chase those high approval scores. That's how ChatGPT went from word prediction machine to your surprisingly chill AI homie. All right, so we learned ChatGPT is basically playing an endless guessing game with words. But how does this actually work when you hit send on your question? Bro, ChatGPT has literally no idea what its full answer will be. It's predicting it one word at a time, constantly going, okay, given everything so far, what word should I drop next? First, your question gets sliced into tiny chunks called tokens. Sometimes full words, sometimes random bits like ing, or even just a comma. Each token becomes a number, because that's the language computers speak. So you ask what's for dinner, and ChatGPT's brain starts racing. Should I say I, how, maybe, or pizza? Let's say it picks I. Then it's like, damn, what comes after I? Think, don't, recommend. This happens for every single word. But here's where it gets spicy. ChatGPT isn't just randomly guessing. It's using this thing called attention, which is basically superhuman memory. Every time it picks a word, it scans your entire conversation like, what parts of this chat actually matter for what I'm about to say? You mentioned your dog earlier. Now asking about food. Boom. It connects the dots. You're talking dog food. And sometimes, for really specific stuff, ChatGPT can even tap into RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It can pull fresh info from databases or documents in real time, so it's not just relying on old training data. And that's how ChatGPT works. Now, hit subscribe, and I'll keep your IQ in shape.